So let's now talk about the second part of this lesson called PID control. PID control is a vast field in control and many, many classes can be taught about this one subject matter. So what I'll do is I'll give you the very basics and let you implement the very basics and I promise it'll be fun. You'll be able to drive a car around and the Google car to the present date uses a version of this exact same controllers that's of course much more tuned to the specifics of our car. But you get to see some of the essence of what it means to control a car. So here's the problem. Consider the following car with a steerable front axle and two non-steerable wheels in the back. And say we wish this car to drive along this line, which is the output of our smoother we just discussed. Let's assume the car has a fixed forward velocity, but you have an ability to set the steering angle of the car. How would you do this? You would keep the steering constant. You could do random steering commands. Or you could set the steering angle in proportion to what's known as the cross-track error, which is the lateral distance between the vehicle and the so-called reference trajectory. So the third possibility is steer in proportion to this cross-track error, CTE. Choose one of those that you think are best suited to control the car.